अकॉर्डिंग टू एस एल ओ बेस और रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ एस डी आई एस डी बोर्ड numerical problem question number 10 to 13 in part 6 now we can solve the numerical problem according to slo base question number 10 in question number 10 given statement a 1.50 cm high object is placed at 20 centimeter from a concave mirror with the radius of curvature 30 cm determine the position of image and its size and also draw the tree diagram now in question number 10 first of all given data now here given data is height of object that is h not is equal to 1.50 cm and distance of object d not is equal to 20 cm this radius of curvature that is denoted by capital r that is equal to 30 cm now we can find that position of image that is di and size of image as i is equal to question mark now we can find the solution first of all find the focal length so for a focal length we have used the formula f is equal to 1 upon 2 r here half of radius of curvature that is equal to the focal length according to the definition so f is equal to r divided by 2 that is equal to 30 cm divided by 2 is equal to 15 cm so the focal length is 15 cm now in first part we also know that first we find the image distance by using the formula as is knowing that 1 over f is equal to 1 over d not plus 1 upon di this implies that 1 upon di is equal to 1 upon f minus 1 upon d not so putting the values then 1 upon di is equal to 1 upon 15 value of focal length minus 1 upon 20 value of distance of object now given the lcm so 15 multiply by 20 and 20 minus 15 so 20 minus 15 that is equal to 5 and 15 multiply by 20 that is equal to 300 then 1 upon di is equal to 5 upon 300 This implies that taking the reciprocal on both sides, di is equal to 300 divided by 5. 300 divided by 5 that is equal to 60 cm. Now we can find the b part as it is knowing that hi over h naught that is equal to di over d naught. This implies that hi is equal to di over d not multiply by h not putting the values then hi is equal to 60 divided by 20 multiply by 1.5 so the answer is 45 cm now in question number 11 a candle height is 8 cm is located at the distance of 300 mm from a concave mirror its visual image is performed now 
behind the mirror at the distance is 3 cm from the pole find the focal length of the mirror and the height of the image is formed so first of all write the given data according to the statement height of object h naught that is equal to 8 cm and distance of object d naught is equal to 300 mm so 300 mm that is equal to 300 divided by 10 cm so 300 divided by 10 is equal to 30 cm now we can write the distance of image di is equal to minus 3 cm so we can find the values in this numerical required that focal length f and height of image h i now in a solution in first part we will know that as first find the image of the distance by the formula we knowing that so 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon d naught plus 1 upon d i so this implies that 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon 30 minus 1 upon 3 taking the LCM of both values so LCM of 30 and 3 that is 30 so 30 multiplied by 30 is equal to 1 so 1 minus 10 1 minus 10 is equal to minus 9 this implies that focal length is equal to minus 9 divided by 30 now we can taking the reciprocal on both sides f is equal to 30 divided by 9 30 divided by 9 this implies that f is equal to minus 3.33 cm now in b part as we know that h i over h naught is equal to d i over d naught this implies that height of image is equal to distance of image divided by distance of object multiplied by height so putting the values h i is equal to minus 3 divided by 30 multiplied by 8 so height of image that is h i is equal to minus 8 0.8 cm now we will move the next question question number 12 in question number 12 calculate the speed of light in the cone with the index of reflection that is n is equal to 1.923 a material is used in jewelry to reflect the diamond so first of all write the given data in given data the speed of light in vacuum that is denoted by c that is equal to 3 multiplied by 10 raised to power 8 meter per second here this value is 3 multiplied by 10 raised to power 8 meter per second now we can given that reflective index that is denoted by n n is equal to 1.923 now we can require that the speed of light in the cone that is denoted by v for a solution we know that the formula is n is equal to c upon v by the reflective index so reflective index denoted by n so n is equal to speed of light in air divided by speed of light in material now we can change and rearrange the formula this implies that v is equal to c upon n that is equal to 3 divided by 1.923 multiply by 10 raised to power 8 now dividing the values so the final answer v is equal to 1.56 multiply by 10 raised to power 8 meter per second now 
in question number 13 the given statement is that a light ray takes an air water surface at the angle of 46 degrees with respect to the normal the reflection index is the water is 1.33 find the angle of reflection when the direction of ray is from air to water and from water to air first of all write the given data angle of incident theta i is equal to 46 degree and angle can be given that so theta i is equal to 46 degree reflective index of air that is denoted by n air is equal to 1 and we know that the reflective index of water NW is equal to 1.33. Now we can require that in a first part angle of reflection from air to water that is denoted by theta r and similarly we can find the angle of reflection from water to air it is denoted by theta r. Now we can write the formula for a first part by the snail's law. N air sin theta i is equal to N w water theta sin theta r. Now we can find the value of theta r. So theta r is equal to sin inverse N air sin theta i divided by N w putting the values sine inverse into 1 multiplied by sine 46 degree divided by 1.33. Now we can calculate these values. So theta or angle of reflection is equal to 32.68 degree. That is approximately equal to 33 degree. Now for a B part from a snail law. N air sin theta i is equal to N w sin theta r. We can rearrange and theta r is equal to sin inverse N air sin theta i divided by N w. Putting the values then sin inverse is equal to 1.33 multiplied by sin 46 degree divided by 1. So Calculate the final answer theta r is equal to 73.8 degree. That is approximately equal to 74 degree. Best of luck for more videos. Subscribe this channel. Take care.